What's going on, you guys? Pika Force here. Welcome back to my Moto GP 2018 crit mode. This time we're going to be doing the Jerez Grand Prix. Let's go. So, like I said, I'm looking for more points right now. Development points, that is. To keep on bringing these results up. You see my uh, Twitter name is not is different. Hello and welcome to the Jerez de la Frontera circuit. Just a few more minutes before the Moto3 race at the Spanish Grand Prix finally begins. A few more minutes and the Moto3 race will begin. Right now we are at the starting grid waiting for the riders to receive the signal to start the warm-up lap. There's Martin, the 12, the 33, Bassanini, Connect. Now, if number seven was available, I probably would have taken that number, probably. Just a few moments to go until the start of the Spanish Grand Prix. These riders know it will be vitally important to take the first curve perfectly. So here we go. So it's a home race for a few of these guys. Five red lights are out. Here in Jerez. It's a great start so far. Taking nice and easy into the hairpin turn. Get inside of Darian Bender right here. We head down the back stretch into the corner. Here it comes 23rd. This is going to be a triple overtake here. Take it nice and easy into the corner. Oh boy, this is going to get ugly. Oh boy. Had some up and downs lately. Up. Whoops. Up in the 16th spot. Now I'm gonna I'm trying to get myself up into the point. Done that. Just that. I'm up into 13th place. Now we're getting on 11th.
think I'm going to get... Okay, let's restart this race. That was a horrible race. It was a long... Just a few moments to go until the start of the Spanish Grand Prix. Here you go. We're going to try this again. Attempt number two. I'm going to go to the right side this time of the circuit. Kind of remember Bender is from the same country as me, or because I can't remember. Oh boy, don't get up the curving. Got Dennis Foga in front of me. This is for the 19th spot. Jorge Martinez, Espar is what we're coming out of turn number eight. We're going to come into turn nine. Clip the corner there, the apex, or as they like to call it now. Again, nice and easy. Here's the Jorge Lorenzo corner up into P17. Gonna work on 16th spot. And now the 15th and 13th spot. Now we're going to work on 11th position. Twelve spot. We got the twelve spot back. Jacob Cornfell in 11th position. Side for 11th position, trying to get this 11th spot. Now the 10th spot. Up to 8th. Oh boy, getting squirmy.
running it over the curb there. Now the breaking point. Going to go for thir the eleven back to the eleventh position. Now I got to chase after Lorenzo De Leo Porta. Okay, I'm trying to go for the 10th spot. Can I get the position done? No, not quite. Couldn't quite get it clear. It's for the 10th spot. We're still working on 10th right now. There we go. Now we're going to try to take over three, take over three bikes now. Move up into P8 now of the Grand Prix. Now we're gonna try overtake Oedi here. This is gonna be for P number seven. He said, oh, look out. Gonna go to the inside, back to the inside of these three guys right here. But they take the position back away from me. Trying to retake the 10th spot back away. Boy, I'm having a hard time getting by these guys here. See me make a slight mistake because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, there goes M Martin down. This Jorge Martin right now. Now I gotta try to take over the eleventh spot now. Got it. Gonna try to take over tenth and ninth and eighth now. Basically, I'm just here to fight for points. Right now, I'm here to fight for points. So P8 right now. Get out of the grass. P back to P11 to 11th spot as we come up on turn 13. We got two laps to go. Is Bassanini out in front? Martin says the fastest one, 
We got two laps to go in this Jerez Grand Prix. Very tight hairpin turn. Going off a of turn five. Now I gotta come off a of turn. Off turn five. Now turn six. Now the hairpin. Now we're heading towards turn seven. This is turn seven right here. Now turn eight. Oh boy, get on the bike, get on the bike, get on the bike, get on the bike, get, oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, okay. We have a yellow flag condition, we stay under the green. Coming off turn 11, this is turn 12. Turn 12, 13, 14, here we go. One to go. Martin says another fastest lap. Back up to P8 to eighth place. Now I gotta try to chase down seventh. I seem to really get the hang of this now. Got Mark gets Ramirez. Oh boy. Back at the B8 now, whoa, look out. Turn eight, final time. Now we're heading to turn nine for fi the final time. Turn 10. I lose a spot to Ramirez. Oh boy, get on the track. Get on the trough. Come on, come on. If I if I get going, I can still get points. I can still get points. Come on, one dive bomb here. Final dive bomb into turn three. Bastanini wins the Grand Prix. Here we go. Can we get 12? We got him. battle as well. While we wait for the cameras to take us to the Park Ferme to meet the stars of the race, let's take a quick look at the Moto3 class final ranking. P12. Whew. I, was I felt like I was sweating that last section of the race. So it is Martin. It is going to be Bassanini winning the third round of the season. On the points, we're ninth place with 27. We're tied with uh, one of the best guys out there right now. And um, 27 points. That's not bad. I I don't think that's bad at all. It's pretty darn good. Here comes the development points. We got a big cluster of development points as well.
good points day as well. This rider is doing an excellent job, and the results show it. The next step is fighting for the results that matter, and it looks like he's on the right path. I think all the team wants is points. I think that's all the team need wants for me right now. Wow, Mark Marquez went four in a row. Billy Selak won the the rookie cup. And Bastanini, of course. Wait a minute. Did Marquez win that other cup? Alex Marquez won the Spanish Grand Prix. I'm just glad to be in the points right now. Marquez is killing it. He's the top three guys have got 100 points. The, the series have got 100 points. Each. Let's go to the development section of the bike. Um, what do I want to upgrade? Let's do some aerodynamic upgrading. I think the downforce doesn't need to be upgraded. Let's do a traction power upgrade. I should come in for the next Grand Prix. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure to um, give me a thumbs up if you did. One more look at the championship. Um, Bassanini has a 13-point lead over Martin now. His uh, teammate Aron Kinnett is in fifth place right now with 50 points, 41 back. But I tell you what, if we keep on bringing those points in, Which I hope we keep on doing. Some of, the, some of these circuits. Let's see what circuits do we have here. They're coming up. That is bad for me. Well, Germany is going to be a tough Grand Prix for me. Germany, San Marino, and maybe Japan. Picked up 12 spots in that race as well. Not that it doesn't seem right about that license here. There we go. So, like I said, make sure to smash the like button on today's episode. Subscribe. Because it helps me out a ton. And I'll see you guys in the next one.